Okay, so I didn't want to have to make this video, but I just have to hop on here real quick and talk about what's happening right now because I hopped onto Twitter and I saw that Dawson say, uh, posted something here. He said, producers have to stop getting real lazy, man. And then there is a video. Um, apparently, this guy called Dark Henning released a track called Unicode. And this guy who's like a reaction guy reacted to it. And apparently, it sounds exactly like Dawson's song, right? It sounds exactly like Dawson. So I went down and then someone asked what happened. That's our Karabo here. And then Dawson said, just posted this Nova picture. So I think Dawson has a song called Nova that this guy copied. So this is the song from Dawson, right? And you can clearly see that the song was released one year ago by Dawson. This is the track called Nova. <laughs> So amazing productions by Dawson as usual, as per usual. Now if I go back into the tweet itself and then I can play back this video here. Unicode EP Dark Henning, two tracks. Let's check it. Those are basically the same chords. Basically the same chord progression. Nothing different here. Even the speed is the same. Okay, that sound is kind of different. The drums themselves, they sound the same. And obviously the reaction guy might not know because he might have not heard the the original song so you know obviously he's impressed but then what do we call this what do we call this is this inspiration or is this theft this song just says dark henning unicode right without saying that it's a remake of a song it's it's, it's a dub mix or it's anything like that you understand so i start going down trying to see how people responded and all, and all that kind of thing some people are making jokes with uh, with him and everything and someone said this is disrespect on another level bs you understand and jazzwell said to be fair people have been borrowing ideas from other artists for a long time this isn't new i don't think it's meant to disrespect anyone or steal anyone's sound it happened to Kulo, it's happened to uh, Da Capo, Julian Gomes, it happened to me, to me too, but we keep it mo we keep it moving. And he's, uh, someone say, also says in Jabulo here, says, I agreed with the sentiment and I listened to Dawson Nova again. This is straight up plagiarism, lack of, uh, for lack of a better term. And I honestly agree. This is basically plagiarism and it doesn't grow the original creator or sound in any way. You understand what I'm trying to say? And then the, the owner of the song, Dark Henning himself, you can see is right here, came into these into this tweet and then says, as I said before, uh, I love the I love Strum and this this fairly one of the easiest song I did, D minor chord inspired by Dawson. So now he's saying it's inspired by Dawson, but he, he, he couldn't say it was inspired by Dawson on the title of the track. So now he says it's inspired by Dawson and ultimately Cape Town Sonics because I sometimes overdose on the sound. However, I love Strum. So he's literally snitching on himself that he is literally inspired by this, but he's not giving credit where he took everything from. Like, look, I understand that people sometimes can get inspired by certain uh, sounds or certain people's music and that kind of thing. It, it does happen. Like, I also get inspired by people. That's why I make videos and I make beats that are inspired by people. And I say that I'm making this this video and i put a picture on the thumbnail of someone who inspired me you know or, or i say in the title that someone inspired me when i make that video or whatever right but it's something that i that i can never release and monetize and claim to be my own afterwards and then monetarily get money from it and you know start to uh, get 
like I don't know, like like you start to earn from it because this is an official release. It's not like you just drop like a bootleg remix or like an inspired song and that kind of thing. He literally released this as his own and he's now released it with the label and everything. So this is where the problem is. You literally infringed someone's copyright. This is what happens. This is why I literally stopped doing remakes here on my channel because this is exactly what it ends up being because you get people like this that will be inspired that will listen to someone else's song and then they just copy the chords paste they don't even flip anything or change the sound or switch anything up or even change it in any form or fashion and they just copy it and then they say i got inspired so i make something similar to you and now i'm going to monetize it and then that's it you understand someone also here saying bro this is your sound wtf what what's going on you understand and this is exactly what happens. People immediately understood that this was Nova by, by, by Dawson. You understand what I'm saying? So let me know down below what you think. But this situation is exactly what I think is something we need to address as, as producers that, look, you do not need to... You can look at other people's music if you're inspired by them. And if you're going to copy them, copy them... And, and and at least use it in an educational manner. That's why I drop music that is original. But when I make videos, some of my videos, stuff I make can sound like someone else's because it's for educational purposes. You understand? Not for monetary gain for someone to now go there and release and say that, you know, this is what without credit. At least credit the person and say that, okay, you could have literally said, this is Dawson Nova, you know, uh, whoever dub mix you understand by him it could have really made sense so apparently the label came out and also put out a statement saying that garden groove uh, music statement regarding uh dark henning unicode release and its process of takedown due to infringement apologies to our fellow producer and peer dawson official so the label that this guy used to release this song actually put out a statement and this is the statement they actually put out a statement there it is the label actually understands what what this feels like and what this means this is the actual statement they're saying we don't condone such behavior nor support it we try to do our best to find original works from diverse artists around the country we take full responsibility uh, for not doing our due diligence and failing to pick up on this infringement in the demo screening process we want to offer our sincere apologies to dawson and hope we can move forward in peace and love end so that's the statement from the label that dark henning the 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 label that Doc Henning used to release this track and they released a statement. So there you go. So that's the thing. Someone said copy and paste. 100% was his production. This is basically copy and paste. And he, he still comes in to say that many styles in this music at this point I was inspired by the Cape Town Sonic. I pulled it off. This is 100% done. Done. What? This is 100% Dark Henning production. This was a fairly easy song for me. Love to strong. But you copy. You basically copied. We all can hear that you copy, bro. You understand? It, it, it's painful. And I'm coming from also a, a, a guy that remakes people's songs. Like you guys have seen my remix here on the channel. And from a person that also releases music. I know how it feels to create something and have someone just steal it. And then they want to be like, ah, oh, no, it's 100% my thing. Just because you remade it and all that kind of thing does not mean you have the right to monetize it. You should do your check and do your due diligence to check that what you made does not sound like someone else's because sometimes subconsciously you create exactly something super inspired by the stuff that you listen to the most. It does happen. It does happen. But do your due diligence and, you know, don't try to get away with it or try and be clever with it. You understand? Someone said copyright is 80% research and 20% writing. That's the thing here. <laughs> and then uh, Gordon here says, sounds like man's got your stems, bro. And he just had to keep the tempo. It's like he's completing a tutorial. Again, back to the point I was trying to say, this is why I stopped making remake tutorials here on the channel because not everyone will understand that these things are things where you're just supposed to use it for educational purposes in hip-hop music like trap music and all these other things you flip a sample if you use a sample you flip it turn it around flip it make it your own pitch it up and down change it like transform it so that it's something else but you guys let me know what you think down below about this whole situation but i basically think that it's it's basically a copy and paste, and there she actually posted the. the <laughs>
he posted the, the project right there. I can literally see it. Come on, bro. Then he asks chord scales who owns it it's not about the chords or the scale it's about the progression and the rhythm of the music that someone copyrights you obviously you cannot copyright chords the, that is so true you cannot copyright chords if you copy exactly the same cadence and the same flow and the same rhythm of, a, of another song you basically just copied you might have done it unintentionally but you did it you did it it sounds the same i'm sure you guys can also agree but let me know down below i think you guys can agree that they basically sound the same they basically it's a basically copy and paste you know and then uh, massive music here says most essays main mainstream popular slash popular deep house cats almost have the same sound anyway so calling one lazy just because they're trying to fit into the industry isn't really justified as y'all been doing the same sound and eating off it plus this could have been handled privately they kind of have a point i kind of agree music does kind of sound the same but it is different it is kind of different Obviously, we're making the same genre, so it's bound to sound different. Hip hop beats sound the same. Af Afro beats beats sound the same. Afro beats beats sound the same. Any genre sounds the same. Jazz music sounds the same. Pop music sounds the same. Deep house also will sound the same. Ama piano will sound the same. That's exactly what happens. But now having to use someone like steal from someone else and and use it as your way to get into the industry because now this guy who's doing the reaction is now reacting to to this guy's uh, song instead of Dawson's song you understand so this is where I have a problem because now Dark Henning is now getting all the attention that Dawson was supposed to be getting you understand what I'm saying so this 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 was where the problem is Dark Henning is now profiting from something that Dawson actually created this is where the problem is if you get what I'm trying to say so that's just basically what I'm trying to say here you understand he's saying it could have been handled privately but I'm glad that it was handled publicly because now this is a learning lesson. That's why I also had to broadcast it here because I know there's a lot of you producers that also watch my videos that also are inspired by other people. And I'm just putting out a call to say, look, you can get inspired, but always watch out for copying. You can subconsciously copy people. I remember I did a video recently where I played some chords that sounded like uh another song's chords and I, I in the video i had to edit I, like and really show it that okay these chords sound like the, the, it's this person's you know song it sounds like it's this person's songs but i made it super different but it's also in an educational form i'm trying to educate people i'm not trying to release it as its own thing that's why i never released that beat as itself but you guys let me know what you think down below about this whole situation is dark henning wrong did he copy do you think he's innocent well, you know and all that kind of stuff let me know your thoughts down below but other than that i'll see you in my next video i'm x and i'm out peace